Welcome to Zapier's new products newsletter. We're gonna cover updates across interfaces, tables, chatbots, Canvas, and more in under two minutes. So let's jump in and see what's new. The big news today is chatbots and tables are joining forces. So you can now power a chatbot with knowledge and data that's stored in a Zapier table. Just go to add a source and then you can click table to select a connected table. Once that gets added, now you can ask your chatbot anything and it will reference the data found in the table that you have in the back end. The great news about this is that Zaps can update, add, remove records in a table. That means your chatbot is now dynamic and connected to a source that can be automated. Within interfaces, we announced that you can have conditional logic. You can now do that for up to five conditions. Imagine you have an event registration form and you need to show certain sessions to specific types of people. So if someone's filling this out and they have the role of marketing and they're interested in innovation, then we can show this last field. And so that field is only shown when the role is marketing and they're interested in innovation. This is very easy to set up in the back end. You're just gonna go in, click the field that you want to conditionally render. And then in the logic tab, you can set up multiple conditions. In tables, we have an exciting new update. We now have an advanced plan. What this is gonna allow you to do is work with a lot more data and add more tables. Up to 50 tables now with 500,000 records per table. In Canvas, we can now create a public link to share a Canvas with anyone. So just go to share and you'll see the ability to generate a public URL. You know, Chatbots is turning one this year and there's a huge feature that we're gonna release very soon. It's gonna allow you to collect information. Be on the lookout because Chatbots is about to get way more automated. We also have a handful of new powerful templates you can check out. Here's a couple. There's an employee onboarding portal. And then the other is a document approval template. That's it for the updates this week. We'll see you again in a few weeks.